Hi everyone, I hope you are all in good health. At this time, I will share one topic to you. And this is the common topic, but I want to share to you to easy to understand, especially for students. Okay, it is simple present tense. Okay, I believe we all know about a simple present tense, but at this time, I want to search you. I want to try explain well to you one by one about simple present tense. Okay, this is the context of simple present. Will I search you? Uh, start from definitions, characteristic, function, formula use uh, of simple present tense like positive, negative, and interrogative tense, and example of practice question. Uh, well, uh, let's learn one by one. Uh, the definition of simple present tense. The definition simple present tense is a tense that is used to talk about something common, something that always happened repeatedly or general truth. And the simple present tense is the tense that is most often used in everyday life. Okay. Now, what they are the characteristic of the simple present tense? Okay, number one is predicate the simple present tense, the sentence in bare form of a bare infinitive. The meaning of this form is that third person verb in this sentence and with the letters s e s or e s s okay and number two is if the form of verbal sentence this is an interrogative sentence and then you must add the word the do or does and then add the subject meanwhile a non-verbal sentence begin with to be m r is okay number three it is simple present tense with a negative First, it is necessary to add the word do not or, or don't or does not doesn't if a verb ends it as es okay actually uh, simple present tense have functions uh, there are five functions of simple present tense okay let's check it one by one number one is simple present uh, sorry express emotion feelings the first function of the simple present tense is to express expression or feelings now uh, let's uh, see the slide it is an example I'm excited about this good news cats have has five legs she's so beautiful okay number two common or instruction like for example never trust him please take a picture for me uh, this is an example from common or instruction and you can find uh, another example about common instruction okay number three is schedule uh, the scheduled event The function of the next simple present tense is to express an event that will be held soon. Okay, hell will be soon. Like for example, I arrive at home 6 a.m. Uh, the train leaves the station this night at 8 p.m. Okay, this is a like for example. Okay. Number four is general truth. Uh, this is uh, another word you can say the real. Okay, rabbit is vegetable. Uh, the sun rises from the east. Uh, you, you can find another example about general truth. Uh, the point is general truth. Okay. Glasses. 
repeated action. Uh, it is show activities or activities carried out in everyday life. For example, I eat two times a day. Our class starts at 9 a.m. I'm a doctor. Okay, this is an example of repeated action. Well, now you should know about uh, sentence patterns of the simple present tense. Okay, uh, in general, the simple present tense patterns include, remember, include subject, infinitive, or verb one, as yes, plus object and class is adverb okay like to be i'm sorry uh, predicate noun or adjective complement adverb and uh, you can see the notes from this okay uh, this is the sentence pattern ah and another point is adverb of frequency okay in simple present tense we must to know what's uh, the point, what's the part of adverb of frequency. Okay, the adverbs of times commonly used in the simple present tense are follows like use always, usually, sometimes. Okay, this is uh, uh, the name adverb of frequency. You can never three times a day, three days a week. Yeah, you can say, and I've, you can see every day, every month. And this is a formula of simple present tense. Uh, there are two uh, formula simple present. It is a verbal simple present and nominal simple present tense. Okay, uh, you can see uh, positive sentence, uh, subject plus verb one infinitive is object subject do does not infinitive object do does subject infinitive okay uh, like for example we go to school by cycle she goes to school by cycle uh, my friend lives in Bandung we we don't live in the city do you know her name okay uh, there are many examples about us uh, verbal simple present tense okay how about nominal simple present tense uh, this is uh, just different uh, to be uh, nominal simple present to simple present used to be m is r okay okay like for example my mother is a teacher they are not from the same class are you mr Hedy? it is a student Okay, uh, this is a note. To be I'm, to be I is a use for subject I. To be is used for subject he see it. To be are used for subject you they and we. Okay, example of the simple present tense and translation. Okay, uh, too easy for you. Why I give for the translate in Indonesia? Too easy for you to describe well, which one will be example of the simple present tense Girana go to the school every morning Girana pergi ke sekolah setiap pagi she sleeps with a pillow dia tidur dengan bantal he doesn't live in padang dia tidak tinggal di padang does she work the office today apakah dia bekerja di kantor hari ini i'm a journalist apakah saya wartawan do they go to the park apakah mereka pergi ke taman okay this example uh, can I gift I give to you okay now example practice question okay uh, this is uh, three questions and I'm not Jessica which one will be correct answer uh, for example number one I'm not Jessica a B C D okay and the next okay uh, I give you one minute to answer and after that let's check together what the correct answer okay okay i believe uh you all answer okay let's check number one is the answer is i okay why you can see the subject 
Okay. I, I am. She, he, it, to be, will be, is. They, we, to be, will be, are. Okay. And the number two, the boy is very polite. Uh, remember, the boy is he. Okay, what's to be uh, he? It is is. Okay. Number three is study. Subject, I remember. Why study? Subject, I you with the verbs in positive sentence are not followed by the affix es. Okay. Subject, he. See it verb in positive sentence followed by the affix es. Okay, remember that. Okay, now we'll uh, give you conclusion. Okay, the simple present tense can be used when you want to tell about things that are happening continuously in the present, like every day, like every day, every week, every month. Adverb of the time will be also determined. The type of be used in the sentence. Okay. This is all I can give to you. Uh, I I hope you can get a point. You can understand what I search to you. And I hope you everyone, special for student, you can get a point. Uh, stay healthy. Bye bye.